Hey Maker, are you tired of taking boring product photos like this? If so, this video is for you. Inside this video, I'm gonna take you step by step and show you how to make your photos more attention grabbing like this. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I'm a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. I always recommend having a studio shot on white of your product. This isn't always the best option for social media or that first thumbnail on Etsy though. While product photos on white are necessary, they're boring. Follow along with me as I take this image from boring to engaging by making simple changes one step at a time. The first step I'm gonna to take to make this image a little more engaging is to actually use a background that emulates a relevant setting. Next, I'm going to frame the product with a simple tray. This is gonna give the product a little more focus and it's gonna add a little more depth, dimension, and visual interest to the actual photo. Then I'm gonna start incorporating some relevant props. This specific product is a candle, so I am going to incorporate a snuffer, a wick clipper, and some matches. However, you'll notice in this photo that there isn't a lot of contrast. The product and the props are all the same color. So to take it just a step further, we're gonna add a beautiful white towel to create a little contrast in our photo. Notice how the, the product and the props, they just kind of pop now and really jump out at you, but we're not done yet. I wanna take it a step further and add a little pop of color. And anytime I'm shooting anything that would work as a home decor piece or a setting within your home, I love to add a little greenery. You can even add a little reflectiveness to your actual backdrop. Try playing with different backdrops or even different trays and stands and props. Get creative. Most importantly, have fun with it. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.